is Imran and uh, in this tutorial series we're going to talk about how to develop plugin what is plugin uh, what are different files required for the plugin uh, as well as how to add functionality in one WordPress using the plugins okay so let's begin so what is a plugin uh, plugin according to WordPress is a way to extend and add functionality that already exists in WordPress so if your theme uh, does something already and if you want to add an additional functionality into the WordPress you can do that using plugins uh, they keep your code separate neat and clean and if you don't want that functionality to be uh, included in your uh, theme then you can just remove it whenever you want that's the benefit of plugin you can just add them uh, you can plug them in and you can remove them whenever you want okay I'm sure you already know where do they exist so if you go to plugins folder into the dashboard in the back end you'd find that if you click on install plugins these are the all the installed plugins that I currently have uh, WordPress already comes with the Eskimet plugin which checks your comment against Eskimet web service to see if uh, they are not spam uh, and then you can also have more plugins that you can install from here you can go to add new and then uh, search the plugin over here and you can just go ahead and install it and activate it okay so this tutorial is not basically uh, about uh, uh, what plugins are uh, only but this tutorial is basically how to create those plugins so if you want to create your own how to, how to do that cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into uh, the WP content of my WordPress uh, directory inside of the plugins um, I have created a new folder which is called admin menu builder and this is the name of the plugin that I've given it okay so it's very simple uh, for you to create a plugin all you have to do is just uh, include one file and that will be the name of the plugin so in case if you have created a folder called admin menu builder you have to make sure that the name of the plugin is also uh, sorry the uh, file name has to be also the same so it will be admin menu builder dot php okay so the folder name the directory name of your plugin and the the very first file that's included it has to be the same okay now there are certain um, header information you need to include so if you take an example of the Eskimet if you go to you can see that the Eskimet is the name of the plugin that WordPress already has which is this uh, this one and then the main file that is there is the same name as the folder directory okay so it's Eskimet.php and you can see that the different header information being included okay so I'm just going to copy that the, the one that I already have so this is basically your header information so you have to make sure that the header information is present in order for you to uh, include your plugin into the WordPress directory in, in order for it to work properly uh, so the first thing is basically the um, name of the plugin I have uh, just like a kind of description okay uh, admin menu builder main file uh, basically in this plugin I'm just going to create some menus in the dashboard uh, for that plugin which we will discuss uh, later but uh, just as to you know that this is the plugin that I'm going to create and add package and obviously the name of the plugin then the first thing is plugin name and you mention the plugin name over here you mention the uh, plugin URI uh, so wherever the uh, information for the plugin is available then the description what does this plugin do so my plugin is going to create custom post and taxonomy uh, I'm not going to go ahead and explain how to do that but just just tell you that this is what it will do uh, eventually uh, the version number the author name okay let me just zoom uh, zoom in over here so you can see so plugin name uh, URI a description version number author author URI license will be the same GPL2 license URI, uh, URI will be the same text domain uh, generally needs to be the same as the um, directory name so if it's admin dash menu builder then it has to be the uh, text domain should also be admin dash menu builder uh, and then the file name also needs to be the same the main file that you're going to include okay so if you just save this if you go back uh, to your plugins and then click on the install plugins and if you see that um, you have your plugin over here admin menu builder that is the name of the plugin uh, then you have the author name version <clears throat> so that's basically the author name the version 
and this will take you to the plugin site so basically this is the plugin uri this will take you to this link whatever you link you put over here and this is the description so uh, this plugin creates custom post and taxonomy so that's the description basically that you mentioned over here okay author uri if you this is the author name if you click over here then it'll take you to the author uri uh, author site basically okay and then obviously in the domain path you just put languages for the folder uh, for the translation purposes uh, great so all I'm going to do is just activate this plugin so you can see that I've, I've got a message plugin activated but doesn't do anything because I haven't included anything into it okay great so what we're going to do is um, the first thing is we'll go ahead and create a custom uh, functions.php file because we're going to write all the custom functions into it so I'll go into my um, admin menu builder which is my plugin and just create PSP file which says custom functions dot PSP so usually you should keep the main file clean and whatever you want to do uh, different functionality should be included in different files okay sorry should be custom functions dot PSP you can write whatever name you want to, but uh, for now I'm just using custom functions.php. Okay, so you've got this file. I, obviously, I need to include this. So all of your files need to be included here in the main uh, file. Okay, so I'm going to include my custom functions.php over here and then include everything else into this, in the, into this file. So I'll just say include. custom functions dot php and I'll just say require once and I'll say custom functions dot php so this will include my file okay in the next video, we're going to learn uh, what are different folders that you can use to include your JavaScript files for your plugin, uh, your CSS file plugin, and how to include them. Okay, in the following video. So, see you then. Bye bye.